Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the podcast. As it says in the title, Fetch, Polymath, and Solana are the three big tokens holding up my portfolio over the last few days. I don't have to get into polymath too much. I'm thinking folks who pay attention to crypto know well what happened with polymath. It exploded. Fetch boomed overnight, but it has been steady, ready, and growing over the entire recent bull run. And uh, Solana, what else really needs to be said aside from the word Solana? You know what? If you whisper it correctly, it sounds like a fragrance on uh, on those really bad commercials. You look great today, Ray. Has something changed about you? Huh? Solana. You go get her, Ray. Now, I am not at all discounting the rest of my portfolio, and I have uh, pretty well diversified. If you aren't, I recommend you give it a go. So one bad day in one crypto doesn't wipe you out. But you know what? You do you. I, I didn't help you earn your money, so I am not going to chime in on how you spend it. But from a pragmatic standpoint, pragmatic trader, it just makes good sense to spread the capital. You might not have as much into a single investment if it takes off, but you also won't get wiped out overnight when the rumor mill starts to swirl. And it swirls often in crypto. Taking apart my big three today, right after this. So I'm going to start with Fetch because it has been a favorite of mine since I made my first Fetch video and the folks at Fetch gave me a thumbs up on the video and a call out on Twitter. Uh, you know what? It was at a quarter though. They briefly touched $1.15 last night on some serious FOMO. So I don't see them paying much attention to the next Fetch video I put out, but it was cool when it happened. Fetch is an AI company and they are doing some absolutely incredible things with it. I, I'm not sure if Skynet is in their future or not, but they are solving an awful lot of legacy world-facing problems. And if you want to find value in a crypto, find one that is solving a problem in the legacy world and you found your value. Smart meters, smart grids, smart cars, decentralized and stacked agents travel, leisure, infrastructure, supply chain management. This damn thing is figuring out when you should restock before you have even sold a product. It is truly next level, and the world is starting to notice. You know what? The, the crypto market damn sure is. If you can dream it, Fetch can figure out a way to do it. And as the world gets smarter, they need someone like Fetch more and more. I loved it at a quarter. I just adore I wanted to have babies with it at a quarter. But even at 90 plus cents uh, at the time of this video, I don't think we have even started scratching the top of this one yet. Oh, yeah. And it's moving into the medical field now. Just, just thought I'd mention it. Keep it on your radar. Which moves us over to polymath. Polymath. That's not really a fragrance, but boy, I... I <laughs> I do like polymath. I, I didn't get a lot of views on the video. It was uh, it was disappointing because I thought I made such a good case for it. But in a world crowded with influencers and pitching the flavor of the day, I can understand how a steady token with legs that is almost purely legacy world facing how it could be missed. Polymath was missed. I mean, not not now. Of course, the, the backbenchers jumped all over it when it briefly mooned. And you know what? Moon, it did. This little nugget of a nothing token jumped to $1.35 on some next level FOMO. And it is still holding up at 170% for the month. That is good gains. I know crypto tribalism. I know people embrace it and they root for their favorites regardless of the financial outcome of uh, of those emotions. And it is for those reasons that fantastic tokens like Polymath get missed. 24/7 365 securities trading on blockchain. 
and Polymath doesn't have to deal with the SEC to get it done. They are just the trading platform. It is up to the sellers to deal with the regulations and compliance of their securities. This is a foundational token that is bringing legacy world value and capital, legacy world capital, to the crypto world. And if you can't see value in that, I don't think I can convince you. Keep an eye on this one as it hasn't even hit its real stride yet. It settled down after the FOMO and it found one hell of a good floor. If it's not on your radar, it should be. Just hit the little star so it shows up in your tracker. And of course, uh, let's wrap up with Solana. Solana. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks, but that's a fragrance that should be in every store. I don't have to explain much about Solana. It's one of a uh, couple of foundational tokens that are developing as an alternative to Ethereum. And you know what? It's up around 6,000% over the last year. I won't say I got in early. I didn't jump on the Solana train Solana, <laughs> until February. But you know what? It's been good to me. And it, it bought me a bigger boat, aside from the fact that it can process around 50,000 tra transactions a second. The best thing going for Solana and uh, ADA is, in fact, Ethereum. Yeah, the higher Ethereum goes, the more it bogs down. Ethereum doesn't scale well. Gas prices get stupidly high. And the more this occurs, the more developers are looking for an alternative and Solana is one of them. Foundational tokens should be the bulk of your long-term holdings, and this is quite the good one. If you want to see what success looks like, scroll out the overview and uh, start making... <laughs> scroll out the overview and start making comparisons between Solana and Ethereum. When you see the correlations, you will understand why Solana hasn't really even hit its long-term stride yet this is still the foreplay i think you are still gonna get more bang for your buck out of ada this is a personal thing for me it has nothing to do with solana solana is fantastic but from a percentage perspective it's pretty clear that the market is choosing its favorite so that's been it for me over the past uh, month. These are the ones that have kept me very, very green, and I still have much love for all three. I may part with some fetch and some polymath when they settle down. Solana is not leaving my wallet. I will ride it up and down because it hasn't gotten to my intrinsic valuation yet. And when the intrinsic valuation exceeds the market valuation, you buy, buy, buy. This is not financial advice. This is just math. I hope you folks enjoyed this one, and we will be returning with an amp, amp update if we, <laughs> if we ever really uh, get one. Until then, spread that capital around, and you will do okay. Live stream on Thursdays at 1900, and member stream on Saturdays at the same time. That's it, guys. Cheers.